You're welcome back again. This is BBI Channel 1, where we tell you the raw gospel truth. You know, I tell you in the past that those who no agree, go agree. And when they agree, they go agree past those who agree before them. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm just trying to let you know that those who never believe in the process of the political revolution, when they embrace it, they become more aggressive for the freedom of the people. I'm talking about Kenneth Okonkwo, the man that was living in bondage. Hear him. LP! You see why I'm happy when I declare that I am no longer living in bondage. You do not know what you are going into. But let me tell you, this is the revolution we have been praying for. When the FCT chairman of Labour Party came to my office, they gave me a beautiful flag. He made one statement that touched me. He said, this flag we are giving you is a spiritual flag to actualize a divine mandate. It was when I reached home that I understood the import of that statement. Come 2023, they may come against us with their bullion van. They may come against us with their evil structures, funded by their ill-gotten money. But we will come against them in the name of the Almighty God, whose people of Nigeria they have defiled. Haven't you heard that God is a Nigerian? Time has come when our God will arise and our enemies will be scattered. The present leaders of Nigeria have become enemies of God. They have defied our girls. They have raped our girls. Yes. They have taken their innocence, yes. allowing them to be kidnapped by terrorists. More than hundreds of these girls have been kidnapped since PDP regime. Yes. And the APC multiplied that failure by allowing multitude of girls to be kidnapped. They have killed our youths. Good. Truly, he had been free from bondage bondage of apc you saw the energy the man was exercising in that video if some of you who had known kenneth okonkwo huh, and his role during the apc's apc romance experiment you will understand that the man is passionate but he was actually living in bondage. Until now, the revolution that is already springing across Nigeria has finally liberated this man from living in bondage. Truly. And he is committed to ensure that millions of Nigerian people who are living in bondage under the corrupt political class and the failed system of government in this country. He is committed to it. I can assure you, because he has cast the anointing. You can see him speaking in tongues. That is exactly what we have been preaching. And that is exactly what Nigerian people need to embrace. It doesn't matter where you are from. Whether you are from the east, north, west and south. I keep saying it. That you are all victims. Every Nigerian is a victim of the failed government. The bad, corrupt political class you have in Nigeria. And you will never know any freedom until you free yourselves politically. And that has been the, the inspiration driving good governance ministry to retire corrupt politicians, to ensure the people have a feel of what it is to have a government that cares for them. 
So, what are you waiting for? Be part of this ballot revolution. I'm just a voice. I've just delivered the message. It is left for you to embrace it. There is no two ways about it. There is no two ways about it. You've had it all, and there is no further making continuous statement. All you need to do is to be part of good governance ministry wherever you are, be an advocate for good governance ministry. Some of you will call me and ask, oh, what can I do to be an ambassador of good governance ministry? It takes you to be an ambassador of good governance ministry. It takes your commitment to ensure that the right things are done around you, in where you work, your community where you live, your schools, your office, the marketplace, ensure the right thing is done. See something wrong, say something about it. Mobilize people, speak up against it. And when you can't have a voice, BBS and One is a platform where your voice will be heard. Send it across to us and we will relay it to the knowledge of the world. We are all together in this to make our lives better. It is our responsibility. Yes, we can, not minding the forces of corruption, the structure of impunity that has already been laid in the motion, just like Kenneth Okonko have identified. It goes right deeper than what you hear him say. But it is the responsibility of everyone to be part of this revolution. What I am doing, I am not doing it to entertain you. I am committed in this to inform you because information is power. And until you are rightly informed, you can never have the power to free yourselves. So I'm signing out. I'm Asuchi Notipitas. Subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. I want to have your opinion on this. And continue growing this community. We are not stopping until the freedom of the oppressed Nigerians is secured. Bye-bye for now.